Welcome to the party, pal. You're from the neighborhood, Master Chaos. Back with you once again. It is part two of our double feature tonight. We're going to be checking out the uh, not so classic Death Rage. Who knows? By the end of this, it may become an instant classic. I really hope so. I really, really hope so. And I really hope there's no, uh, no, no uh, underage nudity in this one. But uh, Barbara Boucher, uh, Barbara Boucher is a beautiful, beautiful woman, and, and uh, she has been known to. Uh, 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 get naked, uh, in her films. So I hope, I hope we do get, uh, a repeat performance in Death Rage. This again is from Dark Forces Entertainment. Uh, this is a clear case. Nice. Love the clear cases. I should like anything beyond the blue. I think it's very fun. Oh, look at this. Wow, okay. Now, I'm happy. The, uh, I have it here. The redneck, uh, uh, the interior was boring. This is fun. This is a fun interior. Okay, hold on. So we got a really fun artwork here on the disc. And then a reversible slip here with uh, some writing and some fun there. This looks badass. Okay, things are looking up so far. Death Rage, the insert, looks fantastic. Uh, I'm going to pop this into the player. And then uh, since it's the second half of our evening... I'm going to switch over to sweets. So I think I'm going to pour myself, kick things off with a cup of lovely black java. Let's pick a mug here. Let's see. Haunted Mansion, Ouija, uh, Plan 9. Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, let's go with this one. I would go with my uh, Zach Bacon's Haunted Museum. I use that one all the time. I'm going to go with my uh, Not Spooky Farm here to help me get ready for uh, Knott's uh, Halloween event. I like my coffee like I like my women. In my mouth. All right. Coffee in hand. Movie ready to rock. Let's do this. Oh, I see Barbara in a bikini. I hope that uh, does play out. Um, they also have the smoking commercial, which maybe we'll check out later. But for right now, it's movie time, baby. Here we go. So it starts out with a, uh, looks like a uh, horse race. One of those, um, you know, like a gambling, horse gambling. What do you call that? Horse races? Yeah, the horse races. There she is, folks. Barbara Boucher. Shaking it on the stage there. That bald head belongs to Yul Brenner, of course. Oh, yeah. I don't think I can show you anymore. This might get a little uh, racy. At least I hope it does. Whew. Well, Holmes, we are 35 minutes into the movie, and I have some good news to report. We do indeed see Barbara Boucher in the buff. She looks amazing. It's a wonderful scene. And uh, also, good news, the movie so far is pretty badass. The basic plot is the old Brenner is a hitman. He uh, kind of works for the mafia. And uh, he has been sent to Italy to uh, get get revenge for uh, um, a, sort of a fellow hit, uh, mafia member who was assassinated. And it turns out he was assassinated by the same guys who killed... Yul Brenner's brother. So, it's a personal vendetta as well as a hit job. And uh, he's hit the town. And uh, he's also made the acquaintance of the lovely Barbara Boucher. So I'm guessing they're going to be knocking boots. We're not there yet, but uh, I assume it's going to happen. Two quick uh, things I noticed. Number one, this print looks way better than Redneck. Uh, it started off pretty pretty scratchy, the, uh, the, 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 the print on the Blu-ray. But uh, it cleared up pretty fast and the movie looks... Immaculate. It looks beautiful. The, the it, honestly, it looks is cleaner than I thought possible. You know, from what I from the, from like the first few minutes of footage, I was really worried, but uh, it really cleaned up nice. It looks amazing. Also, something I noticed: uh, Yul Brenner is a wrinkly motherfucker. He has got some really odd wrinkles, like all over his face. He's almost like a mummy face. Man, that guy is creviced. Seriously, creviced. Speaking of crevices, I'm in the mood for waffles. What do we got here? Ooh, Mimo. I'll be back. I'm gonna get some of that 
for the next break. But for right now, woo, gluten-free pumpkin spice uh, waffles. Cook, you bastard, cook. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get a refill here. Boy, it's dark out. Wow, I mean, it's the middle of the night. Why do you find my backyard creepy at night? I don't know why. It's enclosed, nothing's gonna jump out at me. I mean, I assume nothing's gonna jump out at me. There's just something eerie about my backyard at night. I don't know why. All right, waffle's ready. Let me go juice that up. Of course, every good waffle needs a little bit of the uh, old cabin. That's how you pronounce it, it's French. Yes. Properly juicing that shit up. Oh, that's too much, that's too much. Oh crap. Okay, we got waffles in our mouths and Barbara Boucher for our eyes. Let's rock. Let's watch the uh, the next about 30 minutes of um, that was what's called Death Rage, and then and, and then we'll touch base. <laughs> Brenner's kicking ass. Oh hell no! Oh hell no! Oh yeah! Oh that's good. Oh, this guy's in trouble. This guy's in trouble right here. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh yeah, yeah. That's called a death rage, bitch. Well, pal, we're an hour into the movie, a little over an hour into the movie, and I've got some more good news to report. We got another nude scene from Barbara Boucher, which was immaculate. We got a, a great car chase. We got a couple of uh, really fun foot chases and a couple of really great shootouts. So uh, the action is heating up. We've got maybe another 30 minutes left on the movie, and uh, it's wrapping up. It's uh, it's all coming to, the, to a boil. And luckily... This one seems to be uh, exactly what I wanted. It's a, it's a fun, action-packed, sort of like a down and dirty, gritty kind of thriller. It is a, a police chateki because uh, Martin Balsam is in the movie. And uh, he plays somehow an Italian police chief. And uh, they're involved with what's going on with Joel Brenner's um, hunt for justice and things like that. So there's definitely a police element to this crime thriller and it's great. So far, I'm really having a blast with it. I, 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 this, out of the two, this is my favorite. Now, uh, I'm going to take a little break. Now, I'm in the mood for another snack. Before I go grab that snack, just an update on my uh, my COVID status. I still have not heard back about my test. I don't know what the test results were for my coronavirus test, but uh, hopefully tomorrow will be the day. They said two to three days, so hopefully, fingers crossed, tomorrow we'll find out where I stand. Am I infected with COVID-19 or am I not? Remains to be seen. Check in with me tomorrow. For now, let's go grab one more little snack, something fun, something different. You may not know what this is. It's a, it's a favorite of mine. Let me, let me share it with you. This is called a, uh, a mochi ice cream. Mimo puts these out. This is the pumpkin spice one that I picked up uh, a long while back. Um, I've got, uh, I've got one left in here, so I'm gonna eat it tonight. And voila, there it is. This little, uh, looks like a little butthole. This little, um, mochi-covered pumpkin ice cream treat is wonderful. It really hits the spot. It's got this, um, for those of you who don't know, mochi is like a little chewy, kind of ta tapioca type of deal. It's very like, yeah, it's kind of like marshmallowy, like a marshmallowy dough. And the, the mochi ice cream is basically a, a bowl of ice cream with a uh, covering, thin covering of this mochi textured um, kind of gooey stuff. Really great. Mmm. I don't know if you can see it. Mmm. It's cold, obviously. There's ice cream in it. Oh, it's so good. It's deceptively cold because the outside, the outside isn't cold, but the inside is freaking cold ice cream. Anyway, back to the movie. I want to see what happens with uh, Yul Brenner. I want to make sure he gets his revenge. And uh, I don't want to miss out on any other nude scenes. You know what I mean. Back to the movie. Well, they see him, they see him. 
Don't mess with Yule. So this guy's been following Yule. He wants to track him down. Oh, there he is. Oh, nice. Good shot. One shot kill, baby. One shot kill. Wait, he's gonna go over? Ah, oh, <laughs> yeah. Woo, that was awesome. Oh, there's Barbara. Lovely Barbara Boucher here again. She's got her clothes on this time. That's fine. Oh shit, she's in danger, man. This is okay. This is she's in danger. I, I can sense it now. Oh, yep, they got her. The bad guys got her. Sorry, sorry about your oranges. Oh no. Where is he? Uh oh. She'll never talk. Where is he? Damn. Wow. What? Well, this is something to keep in in, in, in mind when you uh, get this disc. There's portions that are in Italian. And, and there's no subtitles for them. So you kind of just have to guess what they're saying. That's really odd. No subtitles. Some subtitles and some not subtitled. And that's the end. Wow, what a what wow this I'm I'm speechless. This was great. This was really great. Well pal, that's a wrap on Death Rage. I loved it. I, I'm I, I'm kind of stunned here. It was a really well done movie. Not a non-stop revenge filled action picture, to be honest. It's not a Death Wish type of thing. Um it's for the most part a uh, sort of a slower paced action movie, but, uh, the action that is there is, um, you know, I feel pretty raw, pretty exciting, pretty badass. It's a very enjoyable movie. Yul Brenner's a really, you know, charismatic lead actor here. Barbara Boucher gets naked twice, so you can't complain about that. And overall, I loved it. Death Rage. I'm gonna give it four stars. Four stars for Death Rage. I would've given it five, but I feel it needed maybe a little bit more action. Uh, to sort of round it out. But four stars, Death Rage, really great. 100% recommend a watch. A couple things I want to mention about this disc, the Dark Force Entertainment disc of Death Rage. Uh, like, I, like I showed you in that clip, sometimes the language switches between, between English and Italian, and sometimes they forget to subtitle the Italian part. So that's a little, that's a little dumb. I mean, I feel like they could have figured that out and subtitled the Italian part so that we're not sort of left in the dark figuring out like wait what uh, I mean I paid close to 30 bucks for this thing it should be perfect uh, in my estimation uh, also the print that they had was very scratchy uh, for the most part I would say a good 70 maybe 80 percent of the print is fine and clear and crisp but a lot but but the other 20 percent is scratchy and and you know really like has vinegar syndrome on it and stuff like that and I'm like man aren't you guys supposed to fix that? I don't understand. Isn't that the whole point is to like, you know, uh, patch all that shit up? I don't know. I, it, it, it leaves me kind of um, not wanting to buy any more Dark Force Entertainment discs unless I really, really, really love the movie they're putting out because I, I don't know. It doesn't feel like they put a lot of love into the at least the restoration of these movies. They just kind of throw them onto Blu-ray. At least that's what it feels like to me right now. However, I love Death Rage and I'm glad I own it. And I'm definitely going to be re-watching it. I, especially some scenes, if you know what I mean. Uh, but no, Death Rage, fantastic movie. Really fun watch. There is a weird... It has no special features except for one weird thing called the Yul Brenner smoking commercial. Let's watch that now. Ladies and gentlemen, the late Yul Brenner. I really wanted to make a commercial when I discovered that I was that sick. And my time was so limited. I wanted to make... That commercial that says simply, now that I'm gone, I tell you, don't smoke. Whatever you do, just don't smoke. If I could take back that smoking, we wouldn't be talking about any cancer. I'm convinced of that. I have no idea why that's on the Death Rage Blu-ray. There's no context as to why it's included. I, I don't, it doesn't make any sense. I, 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 don't, I, I don't understand that. Did he... I mean, it's not even a commercial. It's just him saying, don't smoke. Seems like more like an interview. I don't know. It's very strange. Anyway, rest in peace, Mr. Brenner. 
Well, pal, that'll do. I hope you enjoyed the uh, second half of this uh, double feature. Uh, like I said, it ran long, so I had to split it up. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, you know, go back and, 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 and see part one. I'll link it above for you so you can uh, catch up on all the fun. We watched a film called Redneck. And uh, boy, there's some interesting stuff in that movie. Uh, Death Rage is 100% better. 100% better <laughs> than, than Redneck, to be honest. Anyway, pal, I appreciate your time. Appreciate you sharing that time with me. I hope this video has found you happy, healthy, and well. I am your friendly neighborhood, Master Chaos. And I want you to remember that I remain to be continued.